that, friends. Hey, friends. Today I'm going to show you my Inktober sketchbook. Ooh. And I'm really excited to show you this. This is like one of my all-time favourite sketchbooks that I've ever worked on. It's going to be sentimental. I know. I'm really excited to look through this. Let's get into this. Let's throw it on the kitchen top. Let's go. Casually. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen! Yeah, you're on our kitchen worktop right now. Look at our marble surfaces. <laughs> it's really not marble. <laughs> yeah, it's really not. <laughs> I think it's made of wood. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, anyway, this is my Inktober sketchbook. I'm not doing Inktober this year, but I've done it for the past like three years at this point. And Steph needs a holiday. <laughs> so this is the sketchbook from the one from 2016. Ooh. And I think I did all this in like Tipex, all the little details. It looks up front. fancy. It looks like a little magic book. And because of Inktober, I filled the sketchbook so fast compared to how I normally Ooh, fill them. It looks pretty. I haven't looked in this since like last year, so I'm really excited to look in it because this is one of my all time favourite sketchbooks. Oh, that's really sweet. Okay, let's see. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, just, I didn't expect that to be that. This was one of my characters I used to draw when I was about like 15 or 14 or something. And my friend last year challenged me to draw that character again. It's your furry rabbit, I would Yeah. Say. In fact, you've probably seen a few of my rabbits in like old yeah, artwork tours and ones. stuff. So here's like a modern <laughs> version she, of her. She's finished. Not perfect. <laughs> Sometimes I get so stressed with sketchbooks that everything has to be a really polished, finished illustration. Mm. But it doesn't have to be. That's the idea of a sketchbook. So I sometimes write that to remind myself. It's a very healthy way to <laughs> yeah. tackle a sketchbook, guys. Oh, so here's... Um... Scratches on page one. Yes. No. I'd recently got some brush markers. Uh, the Winsor & Newton ones, the, the grayscale ones. <laughs> a waterproof test up there, which didn't look like it was going so <laughs> he well. He looks pretty angry at <laughs> This test is terrible. <laughs> and these were done with ink dip pens. I think I was experimenting with a few different nibs to get a feel for which one mm. I like best. There's quite a lot of line variation on those. And then these were drawn on my birthday last year. I remember because you bought me um, some gouache and there's a video of you giving me that gouache. Yes, yeah, we could link it somewhere yeah. if you want to see it. And I painted this little X with it. And he was done with the markers and the ink dip pens. I really like that because it mixes my two favourite themes, like medieval and poaches. <laughs> yeah, it's a cute little page. I'm still quite proud of that one. And then I've got a witch kitty over here. Oh, she's pretty. This was literally me trying to sort of psych myself up for Inktober. Because at the time, this was when I was very first getting into ink dip pens. Oh, it's really cute. I really like her. Oh dear, he looks angry. I think that this illustration, for some reason, looks quite like Quentin Blakey. I don't oh, know what it yeah. is about. Yeah. There's, there's something about it that just reminds me of his work. <laughs> so did you see that cat on the other page? Yeah. And the reason I did this is because I think a lot of books look like the wearing armor anyway, so I tried to draw them wearing armor. I guess in a way they naturally kind yeah, exactly. of are. Yeah, exactly. It's so cool. Oh, this is me testing some new pens apparently. Is that a bear? Oh, that was done with a black V pen. I think this was meant to be like an aardvark, but it didn't come out. So no, great. I mean the helmet bear. Oh yeah, this one was a bear. And this was the Uniball. Micro, you one. love those. Yeah, pens. I was very into that pen back around here. And there's an otter. I was never too happy with how that otter came out. He's been shot in the paw with an arrow. <laughs> it looks like it doesn't... He's like, but I'm fine. Oh, that's cute. Weird bird, that's not very nice. So, son, I had my first major ink leak while working on this. I think I remembered that because it went all over my desk. Yes, it, yeah, it wasn't in here. It yeah, was thankfully... Because you needed my help to clean it all <laughs> <Yeah>. up. <laughs> thankfully, I managed to save the sketchbook. And it says I was using the Lamy Ink Joy, I think, or at least I was testing it over here. Well, that's like a fountain, isn't it? Yeah, you got me that two buff days ago. Hmm, oh. detecting a theme. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, more otters. Yeah, for some reason these otters were really popular when I uploaded them on Instagram and I had no idea why. I think it's because of that one going, ha <laughs> ha. That one reminds me of our guinea pig Bumble. He's got the same kind of hairdo that our guinea yeah, pig does. Yeah, it's a big tufty do. <laughs> the reason I was drawing otters is because that Harry Potter... I always say it wrong, is it the Patronus? Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah Patronus. The Patronus test thing said that I had an otter, so I was like, okay, I'm going to draw some otters. I think mine was a horse or a pig or something. Yeah, yours was a horse. Yeah. I can't remember what type. They all smell a horse. Oh, Andy, I can't even remember doing these. Oh, he looks miffed. Look at him. <laughs> He's like, Clive, that's really inappropriate. <laughs> Clive. <laughs> well, some foxes. Oh, more pen tests too. Yeah, those were some pens that were sent to the PO box when we used to have the PO box. Yeah, which we don't now, guys. So remember, don't <laughs> send things. If we open it again, we will let you know. <laughs> oh, we're getting really close to Inktober now. Yeah. 
because this I think was like the day before Inktober and I decided around here that I was going to do a theme where I was going to try to do like a monster every single day so I thought I'll try and do like a practice one themed around mushrooms because I love <laughs> mushrooms <laughs> I love him <laughs> bear in mind at this point I'd never really experimented with like creature design and considering I threw myself in the deep end They're really good I really like these so I think Oh no, we've got a mushroom pig. I forgot about him. Oh yeah, and the stalk is his snout. <laughs> That's really cute. Oh, and then some mushrooms. I must have been doing a lot of practice ones, but the next one's in October. <laughs> was you spying on the next ones? Where, where yeah. are they? Are they in here? <laughs> there so we there go. So there we go. This was number one, the banana demon. <laughs> I forget a lot of the stories that go along with them, but if you scroll back through like my Instagram or my Twitter feed, I've written like stories about every single monster, and I hope I've still got the notes somewhere of it, but each one sort of had like some kind of relevance to my life. Yeah. Like for example, this one, I don't like bananas, so <laughs> I think so, one around So him. he's cut up a family member and put it in his handbag. <laughs> <laughs> so that was day one, and then day two I did a tea spirit. I really like this one. I'm pretty sure that one was themed around because I like tea. She's like cooking herself. <laughs> I'm delicious. And it's meant to be like a hot spring or like a hot spa that they're just like yeah, chilling Yeah, it's really in. pretty. This was one Medusa. <laughs> Has anybody seen my friends? They're dead on my face. <laughs> And then the undead fish prince. Oh, he's got like a hook in him. That's awesome. <laughs> so many people commented on this one saying it made them feel sad. He's like, <laughs> he's already dead, guys. He can't feel it anymore. He's faking it. On oh, the spaghetti yeti. I spent so long on this sketch. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I can still see some of my old pencil lines on this from where I was like drawing it and then erasing it and then drawing it and then erasing it. <laughs> it came out really cute though. I really like the idea of having spaghetti hair. And these were ink imps. I was trying to use like a white gel pen around here and no matter how many times I laid it on, it came on like really milky looking. Ooh, you needed a Posca pen, I bet. I had a gold ink Ooh. that I used for the lid. Yeah, that's really nice. And I was really proud that, can you see this little bit here? I managed to draw his face in grey through the glass. So oh. it, so it looks like he's looking through the glass. We've got to zoom in on that detail. That's <laughs> yeah. some fancy ink work. Then the drizzle dragon. Aww. The idea behind him is that he was meant to be a dragon that squeezes the rain out of clouds. Oh, Isn't that such a cool idea? He's so creative. <laughs> I still quite like this one, the Bath Bomb Barbarian. Look at that big nip! <laughs> <laughs> it was just really fun using, um, it was the mild liners that you'd got me for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another birthday present! Yeah. I was using those on him. I think we can all relate to this big tough brute. I think it was during roughly around this time that I was getting really, really into inks and I was using mostly coloured inks for all the details that I'm colouring them in with. Mm -hmm. And I decided that I wanted to order a silver ink. So somewhere through this, silver starts appearing in a lot of things <laughs> because I was like, excited. What I have. Oh, the bean beast. Yeah, you hate beans, but I love beans. <laughs> I love beans. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a little square here. Oh, like, yeah. From where. Was that a bean can under there? Yeah, I'd drawn a bean can I didn't like and I've stuck that over. I don't know if it'll show on camera. Well, enhance. <laughs> the buff skeleton. Oh, this one drove me nuts as well because, as you can see, I've like taped over this one and like oh. redrawn it a few times. Wait, wait a minute, and is he wearing my shirt? Yeah, I think it was probably <laughs> around the time maybe of the nail polish challenge that we'd done or something. Or maybe I'd seen you wearing that shirt. Is this how you see me? As a buff skeleton? <laughs> but so many people saw this as like a hat. Because it looks like an Egyptian Oh, so it hat. looks like a pharaoh kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't meant be. to be. <laughs> there will never be pharaoh if I have if I don't get more gains. It was meant to look like he, his neck was like stooped He's over. He's hunched over, yeah. That's yeah. how I read it until you said about his wonderful I'm, pharaoh hat I'm going to put a poll up here. Can you tell me how you saw it? Did Is he a pharaoh or just a guy that dresses like me that wants to be buff? <laughs> And oh. then the gem wolf. I like the gem wolf. I think that's really cool. Oh, I was really upset with this one because it was the only one that I tried to like line in a different oh. colour. And I lined it first and then I coloured it in and I forgot that it wasn't water soluble. Oh no. So it was bleeding quite a lot up here. I like it. It but... just To me, it just kind of looks like he's wagging his tail. <laughs> but I like the character concept. I'd like to do something from some little gem wolves Would one day. Would you pet that? He looks kind of spacky. <laughs> And then the mind control mollusk. <laughs> yes! And this caused so many debates about whether mollusk is spelt with a C or a K. <laughs> I always thought it was a C, yeah. I, I think it's one of those like American and English spellings oh, really? where it, it's like one or the other, it's fine. Guys, how do you spell mollusk? <laughs> Let us know! <laughs> Tell me. It's very important. Then a fluorescent fungi frog. 
Oh, and he gets it. That's really clever how he catches things because of that. Yeah, this These was really cool. It was based on uh, some mushrooms that I'd found that like glow in the dark or really? something. Yeah, and it looked really cool. So I was like, wow, I'll make them grow See, out a frog. That's like something that nature would probably try and come up with. <laughs> that's really clever. That's why I like inventing monsters and stuff. Oh, this is when I got my silver ink. So I made a <laughs> cockatoo. A solid silver cockatoo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was you that came up with the name for this one because I was just doing like a robot bird at first. <laughs> it is robot bird. <laughs> yeah. But then he said he could be a cooker too and that he cooks eggs. <laughs> yeah, he just squats on them and turns them into like boiled eggs. <laughs> then we got the beetle king. And I think the story was something like he was the king because he found a purple grape or something. <laughs> <laughs> I declare myself ruler of this kingdom. <laughs> and this grape will be my first subject. Oh, the swamp hag. Her only magic powers was that she could waft around leaves and twigs. <laughs> <laughs> I can waft anything around if there is a breeze strong enough. And then oh. royal red. She's like a little cupcake type. Yeah, thing. she was based on red velvet cakes because oh. I really like red velvet cakes. A lot of these are food centric. If you've ever followed me on Twitter, that's basically all I talk about. <laughs> we love food, okay? <laughs> Oh, and then wow. a space moth. <laughs> oh, I love moth designs. This was inspired by like a really old Photoshop art piece I did for college. Really? Yeah, because I drew loads of moths in a space fridge and... Space fridge? <laughs> we'll oh. get into that another day. <laughs> if you want to learn about the moth space fridge, be sure to give us a like, guys. <laughs> Oh, up next we got the lime slime. Um, around the time that I got the silver ink, I think I spent some birthday money and I also got myself a set of neon inks. Ooh. They're like one of my favourite inks, but it's very rare I can find an occasion to use neon things. So I was excited that I had a chance to It kind of looks like a this. jelly that you've left in the fridge too long. Yeah, that was his story. Oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that he was um, a jelly that everyone forgot to eat and then he was seeking revenge. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably inspired by something that went bad in our fridge. <laughs> that happens quite a lot. <laughs> After this video, I'm gonna check the fruit. <laughs> but um, even though it was waterproof ink, because it's the same one I've been using on all the others, for some reason, the neon ink, it just seemed to make it like bleed. And I think it's because this one, it takes a lot longer to dry than what the other yes. inks do. Yeah. And because it stayed wetter longer. It works though, because he's meant to be like a, a <laughs> wet jelly kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. I think it looks nice. Up next, we've got mutant mango. Something else that was probably in our fridge for a while. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what his story was. I think it was something like he had fertilizer used on him or something. <laughs> <laughs> He's grown too big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is one of my favorite ones. Oh. It's gift wrap mummy. And if you look over here, there's a little tag and it says for Mr. Mummy. And the idea is that it's um, Mr. Mummy's birthday. So she's dressed herself up in lots of like Christmas <laughs> wrapping paper. I love it. He better appreciate this. <laughs> Wrap myself in paper, took three hours. And then I've put loads of like little tape details around. It's really cute. Yeah. And because I was sticking these all on our presents at the time, I was like, okay, you can have some of those as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, and this one. This is a pantry pixie. And it was basically this that inspired like a personal project. This is basically you when you go in the cupboard, you're like, <laughs> I think that's what it was kind of inspired by. Up next, we got a pistachio princess. Oh, well, she looks cute. I remember having a really rush doing this one because my friend was coming to stay for a few days mm, mm. and I needed to like tidy all the house and get a bed ready and everything. But I was like, no, I can't stop in October. I'm on day 23. <laughs> I love how her face is like, oh my God, pistachios. I think this one's probably got like the least amount of like story in the drawing just because I was so pushed for time that morning. I like it. I like it. Then I did a magpie mage, and he just collect shiny things, because that's what magpies do. It's the sauce of his power. And the metallic inks, as you oh, can probably tell. Oh, the, the medal's really going yeah. for it. That looks great. The silver is as well, but the gold's catching the light a bit better. Then we've got a stone gnome. <laughs> Get off my property! I think I just picked that one because it rhymes. <laughs> I'm just an angry gnome with some stones. <laughs> and then there's the mellow lantern. Oh, because he's got a melon instead of a pumpkin. Yeah. And he looks pretty <laughs> chill. I tried to go for quite an autumn-y colour palette with yeah, this one. Yeah, it looks good. One of my all-time favourite things is Over the Garden Wall. And I tend to watch that like every Halloween. We've so ordered the probably... art book as well, but it's been oh, delayed here. I know, I was meant to get it for my birthday, but it's coming a month late. At least it'll be near Halloween when I'm really excited out. to get that. Oh, then we've got the dry-eyed giant. <laughs> and that's because I suffer with dry eyes, which you'd think means that your eyes don't produce like any liquids, but they actually stream with water all the time. So I thought I'd put this really big ogre through it. <laughs> like, I'm not crying, I just have a medical <laughs> Then we've got the shell slug. 
aka the snail. <laughs> I think he's actually best on. You've probably seen like sea slugs and stuff. They're all in like really. He reminds colors. me of ice cream. Yeah, he goes he, he looks delicious. <laughs> Then we've got the cell wizard, and he's basically just a cell, and he's got some kind of cell magic. Oh yeah, because he can like divide and make cells and stuff. This was really close to the end of Inktober, where I was like, I can't go on! <laughs> oh, this is one that I did in a video. Yeah, I'll have to we, link to we'll that, yeah. We'll put it in the yeah. sidebar for you guys. Yeah, we did this one for an actual video. And then this was the last one for Inktober, not for my sketchbook. And I wanted to leave this one as a mystery, and tons of people like commented like stories and stuff for oh, this guy, so which I cool. thought was cool. Well guys, if you want to join in, if you've got a story for this <laughs> mysterious looking bird fellow, give us a comment, let us know. <laughs> and then after that, I wanted to play around with some different coloured pens that I had. This was one of my red V pens and I coloured it in with some red ink. He looks fancy. And I've also got these. It's a little frog I did with Prisma colours and pencils. ink. So yeah, there's still in ink. ink in there. Yeah, there's some like ink on top of the Prisma colour that I did. I also just remembered after drawing this, one of my friends that I've known since like school told me like your art style, if I had to describe it into words, it would be spiky wibbly. <laughs> hey, I know who said that. Yeah, and she's stuck to saying that ever since. That was Melissa in case you know her. Well, we've mentioned her before. <laughs> what is this? Bathroom ships, I forgot about these. What is that? I didn't even, what's this? <laughs> so one day when I was in the shower, the way the towel had like fallen off, it like folded in a certain way where it looked like there was a fox and a frog. It made a frog. I ran back out the shower, grabbed my sketchbook, and then went to go and draw them while I was in there. Be right back drawing in the shower. <laughs> I had no idea you did yeah, that. Yeah, I forgot. Oh no, and that's then, what I Yeah, did. I love to swatch in like the back of my sketchbooks. That was a new water brush pen that I got with the Koi set and I, I wasn't very good at using this it. This brush is hard to use. Yeah. There's Every Prisma single colors. Prismacolor one. Silver and gold. These are all my inks. Oh, this page makes me so happy and nostalgic. The I commitment love it. to this is crazy. <laughs> Look at all these. If you want to see more of my sketchbooks, I'll link some up here. And don't forget to subscribe. And let me know if you're doing Inktober. Yeah, let us know, guys. Yeah, we're sitting this one out because we have mysterious projects to reveal. But if you're doing it, let us know. Do, is it themed? Are you doing anything for it? Let us know. Do not it. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Ooh.